Book of the Moon Bumblebee. This is the standard Bumblebee in his Camaro car form. As you can see, it's a bit of an update on the new one. It's actually a little smaller than the or from the previous films. But it does look a lot nicer with the uh, stripes on the roof and it's sort of a more sporty version of the car, more like a rally car. As you can see, it doesn't actually have windows in here. There's a um, sort of bar thing, a bit like a, a cage. And for comparative purposes, here we have the other Bumblebee figure which I reviewed. As you can see, this one has the new stripes on the top. And the um, transformation bit doesn't really show as much on this. And from the side. And if we stack them here, you can see um, the new one's just a little bit shorter and shown like this. The new one's just not quite as wide. It doesn't really show it that well. Um, but this is the new one, and it does look very nice. The tyres are filled in a bit more. We've got that Autobot logo there in silver. And if you're wondering, the doors open. Just like that. But uh, you just see bits of robot inside there. And actually, you can see here we do have windows uh, which pop up. And therefore, in, um, in robot mode, they don't fit in here. Some people might um, be tempted to modify this, maybe remove the cage bit and put it in the window. But all in all, it's a very nice looking uh, car mode, Camaro mode for the new Bumblebee. And it does transform a little easier. So let's get on with the transformation. Um, I can start by coming around the back and separate the back panels just a little bit. Here. Uh, there we go. I'm not going to go into that just yet. What you do is then you lift up the whole top section here, like so, and you want to bring it up like that, and then fold this part down and lift the back section up and fold it forwards. So you have a new sort of assembly on the top. Then we're going to take the doors and open them. And we're actually going to take the wheels here, you can see his head in there, take the wheels and pull them out so they line up with the doors, like that. Next we'll take the arms and rotate them around. And then actually pull them out. And then you can flip them around, bring in the hands now if you want to. Next we're going to take this part and pull it down a bit and you want to actually um, each of these front bits at the side here you want to press in at, from behind so that they uh, pop up like that you just want to pull them out a bit ease them into position so it's like that then you can take this grey panel here and flip it around and bring the whole top part down and there's a little peg there you want to peg that in Let's see if I can go through there we go so that's his top part basically done and you can flip up the windows which looks a bit nicer with the blue there and for the bottom half a lot simpler than before you know, these panels on the top you pull them out because there's a little peg there and hole there and lift them up, push them against the leg. So on this side, lift it up, push it against the leg. And then you just rotate this foot part down and push the back part of the leg into the um, knee part here. And just repeat that on this side. Pull the bottom part down and push that part into the knee. And he has his feet down. So that's basically Bumblebee. In um, in robot mode. There we go. Um, obviously, this part is a bit of a backpack, but you can sort of push it down and stow it away like that. 
That way you can't really see it as much in um, in robot mode, so it's sort of hidden a bit better. And he will stand. Just like any good transformer. And you can adjust the wings however you want them to be. But all in all, it's a very nice looking robot mode, I think. You can uh, obviously adjust these panels here in the front however you want. I tend to have them really far forwards and just push them down a bit. There's no um, no articulation in the um, torso moving forwards and backwards, but he does have this hip joint, so you can, uh, if the backpack's out of the way, you can twist that. And each of the legs moves, you've got the standard moving here, out, outwards and forwards, bends at the knee at one joint. And he's got his ankle joint here, which lets his foot move in really weird positions. And that's the articulation of the lower part of the body. Uh, his head's on a weird sort of ball joint, so it will rotate 360 degrees. And it will sort of move up and down a tiny bit. And then his arms go out and in, and they'll rotate 360, if the wings don't get in the way. And um, he has one elbow joint here, which bends really far, so that's good. And he has another swivel joint at the elbow. And then his hands are a bit strange, because um, obviously they have that wrist joint so you can fold them in. But the uh, thumb and the three fingers are all separate, but you can't really move them because of the design of the joint. So they're going to move like a, a millimetre or so apart. And that just lets him hold his gun. So I'm just going to stand up here. And um, if you're interested, this is Bumblebee's mech tech weapon. It looks sort of like a really massive rifle with a tiny barrel and as with all magtech weapons you press the little thing here and it extends and the barrel comes out and the scope rises up and looks much more powerful but um, as this is a deluxe figure that's not going to lock out it'll just be like that but you can either have it the same way that it's displayed on the box as a magtech port on each of his wrists and you put the um, rifle in there and he'll be able to hold that up really well because uh, my version of the figure at least has really strong joints so it's able to hold his weapon and then uh, obviously you can push that to open it but that's not going to stay like that and as I mentioned earlier if you take that out and open up his hand you will be able to fit it inside his hand. Um, it's not going to hold it quite as well as the mech tech ports on his wrist, but he still is able to hold that in his hand. And shoot some bad guys. There is a mech tech port on his roof, if you look back here. One of those springy ones. Um, so you'll be able to store that on him in vehicle mode, if you choose. Uh, it doesn't really look that good in vehicle mode, so I didn't display that. But yeah, this, uh, this new look of Bumblebee is actually really nice. It's very similar to the old one, but it transforms a lot simpler and it's actually really nicely posable. Hello. You can do salutes and anything. Um. So the plus side is great posability, it looks really nice. The vehicle mode does look really nice, especially the vehicle modes in the new film all look really nice. And the uh, the arms look a lot nicer than the other ones with where they used to have bits of the door and they don't anymore. Um, bad points, um, obviously there's that whole thing with the windows and having to have them down. But all in all it's a very good figure. So this has been my review of Dark of the Moon, Bumblebee.